If you have an or an I tankless water heater, and there's no error code and it's not working, you can hear that there's, it's not uh, firing up. This is propane. There's a few things you can do. First, try turning the p power on and off. I usually just unplug mine and plug it back in. You can also try pushing the on and off button twice. Uh, for me, that has never worked. The next thing you can do is uh, turn off the cold water, leave the hot water on, open a hot water spigot to drain the hot water out, and then remove this plug right here. There's a screen behind it you can clean out. If that doesn't work, the next thing you can do is this. <laughs> Put this plug back in, leave, uh, uh, turn the cold water off again, leave the hot water on, and let it drain thoroughly. Then open this and drain the hot water out again, this side, and drain the cold water out of this side. So basically all of the water is out of the system. Then seal this back up and turn this back off. You can see this just turns 90 degrees, just like these do. And this does too, and then put it all back together again. This is with both these switches off. And turn the hot water on. So there's no water in it, and the hot water's on, so it's empty. Then turn the cold water on really fast, and sometimes that'll help, and it'll start back up again. What happens is there's a spinner right above here. It's supposed to turn, and if it doesn't turn, your uh, water heater won't come on, And but there's no error message. If that doesn't work, the next thing you have to do, which is what I had to do uh, this time, and the uh, actually the tech, the installer actually had to call Renai and uh, get them to walk them uh, th them through it, and I watched. But this is how you do it. First of all, you need an air compressor. If you don't have one, you're gonna have to have compressed air. But <laughs> since it might not work the f first time, you're gonna have like one can of compressed air. It just won't handle it. So. But basically, what you do is you take these, once again, you turn off everything <laughs> and drain it again, okay, so there's no water in it. Take this bolt out and this bolt out, and this thing drops down just about three-eighths of an inch, and you can move it to the side a little bit. Up in there, there's a little plastic cap with holes in it so for the water to flow through. What you do is you take your air compressor, and you put it up in there, and you spray it. And you'll hear a, a whirling sound if it's working, like and it's so loud that you'll hear it above the compressor, which is for me only about 15 feet away. It's really loud, and you can it's very distinctive. And if you're not sure, do it again, and you hear it go again, like a real high-pitched uh, whir. If that doesn't work, then uh, what you didn't for me after I put it, everything back together just to check it, it still didn't work. Well, the, the next thing I did was. Uh, Put, took it back apart, you know, drained all the water out again, took it back apart, opened this up, and sprayed some Pam in there, some uh, vegetable oil spray, just a little bit, and I did it again with the air compressor, and that fixed it. Now, this thing has done this now like six or seven times, and it's the same problem every time. That little thing is not spinning for some reason. I don't know if it's a, a defect in the uh, Renai or, or not, but... I mean, what are these things, you know, $800, $1,000, but Jeepers Creepers, you know, I've already spent uh, $400 on repair bills. So I just want to maybe try to save you guys a little bit of uh, time and aggravation. So there, no error code, but you can still fix it yourself. All you need is an air compressor and some tools to uh, 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 take this apart. <laughs> uh, socket. That should uh, work, I hope. Uh, at least uh, give it a try. It's not very complicated. And... Uh, it worked for me yesterday, but you know, you know, be careful about what kind of oil you use too. Uh, nothing too thick, and I wouldn't use you know anything like uh, uh, motor oil or WD-40 or anything that. Uh, so I used Pam because it was a food safe, and it came in a spray, and, and it just uh, gave it a little tiny squirt up there and sprayed it up in there with the air compressor. Okay, that should do the trick.